Hello guys and welcome to Scrap Mechanic with me Biffa. So you've been looking around trying to find out how to build a car that's stable, that doesn't flip over at the slightest sign of a lump in the ground. Well, let me show you how to build this beast. It's got lights, it's got wheels, it's fast, it's fantastic. And I'm going to show you in less than three minutes how to build a car that never flips over. Okay mechanics, I've parked up my beast over there, even with a teapot plant on the back, and we are going to learn how to build that car together. First of all, you want to place down your lift, and we're going to use this handy flat surface right here. And then pressing the I key, you can bring up your inventory to choose any of the builder materials you like. And I've already chosen mine at the bottom here, so we're going to start with this colour here. You can raise the lift up and down with the up and down arrow keys. And then you can change the way the blocks are placed. You can see that's going vertical. Press the Q key. There we go. And we'll make that nice and flat. And what I've been finding as well is if you make a nice big area, let's go like that. And then you want to get the lift back in the middle. Very easy. Right click on the lift to remove it. Select your lift. Click on your structure. <laughs> that won't be a lift then. Click on your structure with the lift. There we go. And you can pick up the whole structure. And when you place it down again, the lift will be nicely in the middle, which will help you work again. So we're going to make this a bit longer. This is actually going to be a bit, a bit wider, I think, than what we've just made. So let's show you how to delete things. If you right-click and drag, oh, you only get to go a certain distance. There we go. You can delete some of the structure. There we go. And we're going to do the same here. There we go. That's better. Let's just delete that one. Fantastic. We'll make that go a bit higher. Good. So we want some wheels. We want some different things on here. So let's start with the steering wheels. On that structure, they were at the back. I don't suppose it really matters where they go, but these are very handy items, your bearings. That will help you to move things around. So let's place. I'm going to go into the normal zoom mode. There we go. We're now in the normal first person zoom mode. I'm going to put a bearing there and a bearing there. And we're going to place some blocks for our wheels to go on. So we want to change the direction these go. There we go. Up and down. I'm going to go one, two, three. And we're going to do the same here. One, two, three. I'm going to put a bearing on the bottom of each of those. And these will hold our big wheels. That's what we've chosen for this. So these will be the front steering wheels. And then as you go along, I want to put as many other wheels on as possible. This thing is going to be huge, isn't it? That's much bigger than what we built before, but that's fine. And what I've been finding to do is to measure out your wheels, rather than placing the blocks first, is to have your wheel selected, get it in the right spot, then change to the block that you want. And we'll have that there, one, two, three. And then you know there's enough room to fit that wheel in. There we go. So we're going to add some more of these along here. So that one will go there. There we go, that's one side done, and you may have noticed that I actually decided to place bearings under here as well. We can now line these up with the other side. So this will enable us to steer all of the wheels, which I think will make a huge difference to the manoeuvrability of the car. So let's, there we go, let's place all of these in, and these will eventually be connected up to the engine and the steering wheel. So let's put our wheels on this side as well. Once you've done one side, it's easy then to copy the other side. Oh, bearing. So, of course, these bearings are needed because the wheels will need to turn around. There we go. And that was wrong. So I did that deliberately to show you how to delete things. Right click. There we go. One, there we go. And there's our last wheel. So all of these wheels are steerable. And we have one little extra block sticking out there. We can easily delete that. There we go. So now you're thinking, how do I get on top to finish this off? Well, that's easy enough to see. Oh, let's put that there. Let's remove the lift from underneath. We'll just right click on that. And we can use our lift. If we place it here, we can actually get on the lift ourselves. There we go. So let's hop on top of here. Let us get our seat. So which way do we want to be facing to go forward? And we need to remember that, so that will come in handy. So let's pop that in the middle there. And then we're going to need an engine behind it there. Then obviously that way is forward, so we need to make sure that we connect, first of all, our engine to our wheels, so they turn round. 
So I'm just left clicking and dragging and attaching to each of the wheels. And you'll see as soon as you do that, they change from just a standard blue bearing to a blue bearing that has maneuverability. And once that's done, you can then right click and change the direction of your wheels so they're all going in the right direction. Okay, and then the last thing you want to do is connect your steering to all of the bearings up here that are going to be steering your wheels. And this will be, I've not tried having one that has all the wheels steered before. So we'll try that out, see how it goes. There we go. So again, it's just left click and drag to connect all of those. Now that is done, you can see all the bearings are attached because none of them are blue. They're either green for steering or orange for power. They're all facing the right direction, which is good. And the last thing that we need to add, and we can't forget this, let's jump up on here. Let's open our inventory. Let's scroll down and let's find the tea plant. There we go. Oops, I fell off. Let's try that again. There we go, we'll jump up here and behind the chair and the engine we will add our tea plant. We're now ready to go. So let's have a look at our engine. We press right click, we can speed this up. For some reason it's already started moving, I don't know why. Let me slow that down again. Why has that started moving already? Let's move this out of the way. Actually I need to get up there, don't I? So maybe we won't move out of the way. Let's put that down again behind. Let's get up, let's take that away, and it seems to have started moving already. Well, let's jump in, and let's see how this thing goes. Oh dear, I've got the steering going the wrong way. Well, that's okay. Let's push on, and we probably need to go faster. I've no idea why the power is going on this before we even get in and press go. Oh, there we go, it's moving. Let's get this on a flatter terrain and it might work a bit better. It is quite low to the ground, but I don't think there's any way that you would tip this thing over. <laughs> I pressed the wrong button. There we go. <laughs> this is fantastic. And if I'd had the steering set up correctly as well. Ah, oh, we're just going to slide straight into the side. Well, there we go. In a very short amount of time, I have made a moving vehicle that can do anything but turn corners. It's big, it's great, and it slides with ease. If you want to go drifting in Tokyo, this is the thing you want to use. Oh, and if you do get stuck, all you need to do is get out, use your lift, place it down again, remove the lift, and jump into the seat before it runs away. Guys, thank you very much for watching. <laughs> Uh, to fix the stupid problem, you need to attach the engine to the steering column and then the car only moves when you tell it to. Fantastic. Now you can not turn left or right at your own command. Guys, if you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like. I've got lots of ideas of all the things I'd like to make in Scrap Mechanic. We'll be definitely getting together with some of my other friends that make Let's Plays as well. And uh, yeah, don't forget to subscribe as well if you'd like to see more, if you'd like to see vehicles that actually work. <laughs> Flying vehicles, all sorts of things. We have rockets. Ah uh, yes, it's going to be fun. I will see you in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.